Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a really long time. I don't know if I'm actually going to upload this video before the vlog or after the vlog. I think I'm going to upload this after my weekly vlog in lockdown because um, it kind of explains a little bit about what's going on uh, in my channel basically and what I'm doing moving forward. Um, but today's video is going to be my um, healthy morning routine in lockdown. Um, basically over the past six months I'd say I've tried to basically improve my morning routine and add loads of little things into my morning routine that kind of make my day feel more accomplished and for me to feel ready to start the day just to not have a morning routine because obviously like my life wasn't that messy it was just when I then did start to kind of incorporate a morning routine into my daily routine I just felt 10,000 times better and I can't even explain to you how beneficial a morning routine is especially to start the day it makes you feel so accomplished in your morning tasks and even like the smallest thing you can take off your list and be like I've had a really productive morning um so yeah I really hope that you enjoy this little morning routine and I hope that maybe it helps you um in some way um because obviously that's what I'm hoping for these videos to do um but yeah I really hope you enjoy and if you'd like to see what I get up to in my morning routine then please do carry on so watching. recently I have just been basically waking up with no alarm sometimes if I you know I have to be somewhere or I'm going for a walk with a friend or you know anything like that I'll set an alarm but I tend to not set an alarm and just wake up naturally I find I actually sometimes wake up sooner than my alarm if I don't set one and just wake up naturally to the to the morning light I don't try to wake up I most certainly don't wake up at five o'clock in the morning I know a lot of people say it's really beneficial and it's really helpful but I think because we're going through a lockdown and the days are long anyway I don't really want to be getting up any earlier than I already do because that would just make the day about 20 years long um but yeah I wake up and I tend to just grab my book the book that I'm reading at the minute is The Greatest Secret. You may or may not know um, that I love uh, Rhonda Byrne's The Secret and I've also read and still haven't yet finished um, The Magic by R Rhonda Byrne which I'm going to do a whole video about these books because they are life-changing and they changed my life. <laughs> um, but yeah this is a book that I'm reading at the minute. This is the most recent of Rhonda's books that she's written um, and published and I can't I think it was probably like maybe four or five maybe six months ago that this book came out um, and it is heavy and deep <laughs> is all I'm gonna say about this book blimey I even I feel like I'm quite open-minded to the whole law of attraction stuff that this was and it's just mind boggling and I feel like I'm going to get to the end and be like wow <laughs> I was doing life wrong <laughs> I'm reading in a minute and I basically I'd like to wake up read even if it's like three pages just so I have a bit of positive information entering my brain I don't think I, there's ever been a time in my life where I haven't made my bed um, if you know me you know I love to keep my room in literally pristine condition um so if my bed's not made even when people sit on my bed i'm like a crease um but yeah i make my bed uh and then obviously open up my blinds do all that sort of stuff and i basically go over to my desk and i sit and i write in my journal <laughs> it's a new little thing that i've been doing and again sam has literally mentioned to me that this might possibly save years of worry um and it's helped massively i i feel like i'm not at the point yet where i can be like this is how journaling helps you and do like a full video on journaling because i've only just started doing it myself um but honestly like waking up and just getting all of your thoughts onto a piece of paper especially when you have a brain like <laughs> that's just overactive overthinking irrational um, writing down all your things on a piece of paper is just 
life-changing and you can kind of look at the things on the piece of paper afterwards and think I'm actually like this is this is so silly of me like why am I thinking all these stupid things um and it kind of makes you realize like everything's good um but yeah I've been kind of doing that religiously and even throughout the day if I get like worries or like thoughts that I then overthink and OCD about I literally just open up my journal and I just go and sometimes I feel like two sides of A4 and I'm like oh my god I have so much stuff in my brain that I have to get out <laughs> and I just write it all on the paper and it seems to kind of help <laughs> um, especially when you have so much in your brain that you just need to have a little bit of a release it's really good so that's what I've been doing and making sure I do that every single morning even if I am even feeling like pretty good I just kind of write you know I've had a really good sleep I'm feeling pretty good but I just have to remember these things um, and yeah, journaling and writing down my thoughts on paper has massively helped um, and I try to do that as soon as I finished reading my book in bed. And sometimes when I finished um, journaling, journaling, I'll go downstairs and make a coffee. I try to drink a glass of water with my coffee because I don't drink enough water and the coffee makes me really dehydrated sometimes um, and sometimes I'll just take my book downstairs and just sit in the living room and um, read my book downstairs with my coffee um, and then once I've done that I'll come upstairs and do a workout um, but if I'm doing if we, me and Kelly are going for a walk up the hill I won't do a workout because the walk up the hill is just workout in itself like a major workout and it really hurts your bum um so yeah once I've done that I will have a shower I pop on um my gym kit most likely leggings like this with these socks um and either a cardigan or a jumper um or if I'm going for a walk like a thermal or something then my coat and my scarf and my hat and I just make sure I pop on a little bit of makeup like today I've um got a bit of the FM foundation on which is really good and it doesn't even mean I need to put concealer on um it just makes me look a little bit more awake um and yeah me and Kelly then go off for a walk up the hill and I can't lie it's honestly so life-changing to just go out for a walk and I know that Sam used so many people would say like oh exercise helps with your mental health and I used to think like please tell me how that's gonna help um but honestly <laughs> it does it helps you feel just so much more accomplished like me and Kelly walk up um this really steep lane and then we get to the top of um the hill and then we walk back down the hill and it takes us about an hour maybe more sometimes um and you know even though we maybe sometimes we go at like 11 yeah. so by the time you get home it's lunchtime and you know you feel so good because you've done something with your day and because it was such I guess because we've been out for like an hour it takes up time you know you get home it's time to have lunch and half the day's already gone so if you're struggling like with the whole you know the, the day is just dragging um when you fill your day with things even if it's the smallest of thing it can sometimes just make you feel so much more accomplished and like you've actually done something with your day so i highly recommend going for a walk it doesn't have to be uphill it doesn't have to be a workout um but even like going for a walk around to the shop or something or just walking is just nice <laughs> Um, and even being in the fresh air and just taking in like the scenery um, it's just lovely and I highly recommend walking in your morning and adding it to your morning routine so usually when I come back from the walk um, or I've done my workout in my bedroom I'll just sit and basically fill in my little gratitude journal on my iPad and also um, plan my day literally with the times and um my to-do list for the day and honestly writing a to-do list is probably one of the best things that you can 
do in lockdown to make your day feel more structured and just a little bit more accomplished. Um, even the tiniest things like I need to paint my toenails and hoover my bedroom. Like, I feel like you need to make a massive deal out of small things um, to make your day off day feel like you've done a lot and writing a to-do list is just going to make you feel like oh yeah feels good taking it off and once you look at the to-do list at the end of the day you're like oh my god I did so much today um so yeah writing a to-do list planning your day um helps massively and that's what I also do within my morning I try to fast for the morning but I do still sometimes have coffee which obviously means I'm not technically fasting because I put milk in my coffee but I tend to not have breakfast. I find this helps with my bloating. Um, I feel like I bloat quite a lot at the smallest of meals, um, but it keeps like my whole kind of, I guess it re kind of regulates how much food I eat and how hungry I get. Because obviously when it comes to lunchtime, if I haven't eaten breakfast and I've just had my coffee with some water, I then eat a pretty big lunch and I don't snack then throughout the day until I have dinner and then maybe I have pudding as well and some biscuits um, <laughs> but I try not to have um, breakfast not in a unhealthy way just it works for me I guess yeah, that's pretty much my morning and even just the tiniest of things can help massively especially in lockdown it's so tough to keep a structured day and if you start your day with a wonderful morning routine, like, I know it's cringy, I know people probably say it and you probably think it doesn't help, but I can't even tell you how much having a good structured morning routine can literally put you in such a better mood for the whole day, which means you accomplish so many more things. Um, but yeah, that's my morning routine. Uh, it's not very special but I feel like it works for me. I feel like I've been trying to find what works for me for a long time and I've kind of incorporated a morning routine more so in the past year, I think, of my life and trying to find what's good for me. Obviously, we're back and forth with work, so my morning routine obviously changes when I do go to work, when we're allowed to go to work, um, but this is what's working for me right now and I'm having a good time. So I think that's everything I have to share with you in this video. I feel like I've probably forgotten something of my morning routine but um, yeah I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you um, maybe took something away from the video um, or maybe try and do something and incorporate it into your morning routine or even just think maybe I should start doing a morning routine um, but obviously I'm not saying you have to do these things this is just what I do personally to help me um, because I know everybody has different ways of doing life <laughs> um, but for me this is what I found has helped and worked a treat <laughs> so yeah I really hope you um, enjoyed this video um, if you'd like to see more of these sorts of videos then please um, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time Bye.